inspire you to create this from the um, grounds up then? Oh my god, reality TV is just life. Like, it all started from Real Housewives of Atlanta. I was watching Real Housewives of Atlanta season four with my grandma. Actually, my grandma was like, oh, you should watch this show. It's a reality show. So I never really, I used to watch Love and Hip. No, I used to watch I Love New York, Flavor of Play. And you know, them days and them old. Look, I was like 10 or whatever. But like I said, so I started watching it with my grandma, and I was like, damn, these bitches on this show is crazy. So, a little birdie came in my head. I was like, mm, me being on a reality show with the group of friends that I have, we have so much drama, we have so much stuff going on, why not get paid to film that shit instead of filming it? For, I mean, instead of just doing it for free, you feel me? So that's like, that's how it all started. Like, I, I just fucking love reality shows. Like, I love All Housewives, Love and Hip Hop, other shows too on Bravo. So yeah, that's how that started. Mm -hmm. What made you choose specific members of the cast? Oh, that's great. I'm going to start off with me. I remember in the first interview, we had an over the phone interview. She, I can hear it all in her voice. I thought she was an old lady at first. I was like, is you, how old you are? I thought she was like maybe 40, but she, I'm not gonna say her age, but she probably will try to kill me because the girl is crazy. And that's why I brought her on board. She gives so much life. She's crazy, she energetic, she wild, and she gonna keep it real. She ain't gonna let nobody run over her. And she just say what she wants. She had no filter, to be honest. And I love her. That's I rock with her big time on the show. I rock with her big time. So I love Mia. These people is out here crazy. I know this. Just, it, it, it can't just only be me, Joe. I don't know if I got bad luck or something, but this lady just can't know. This man and this lady just all of a sudden gonna say, "You better watch." You better watch where the fuck you going, because I'll come out and beat your ass. I said, hold on. Who the fuck is you talking to? You don't talk to me that way. He gonna, And then the, his wife took off the glasses. I said, hold on. What the fuck y'all trying to do? Y'all act like y'all trying to correct me, trying to check me? Bitch, I'm grown. Fuck you mean? You ain't you gonna talk to me like you got some motherfucking respect. So she gonna drive my car. I drove my mother, I drove my motherfucking car. Now I'm about to hit the bitch. So, so I, I did hit the bitch. Boss. Yeah, like Cause if it ain't boss, it ain't right. You feel me? Cause you know I'm hilarious. Um, drama. Not saying I saw a drama, but I do keep it real. I'm outspoken, and you know I, I feel what I you know I say what I mean. I feel what I say. Route. Um, you won't like to put something right now, but I, okay. Get 
big cake, watch it bake like it is my birthday. Always up in first place, and Chirac is my birthplace. When you can't come, talking shit, that's how you get dealt with. Smoking on the foodie pack, I don't buy no little bags. 28 and I done had to flip them up and get them back. When your nigga call me, bitch, I never call him back. Like. I got some ones that some like, you know, don't rock with me, you feel me, but we're going to let everything reveal itself. But, you know, Chrissy, you know, me and her, we do got our ways, but she do got her ways. So, I'm going to get that reveal out in the show, so stay tuned to that. But overall, we business partners, we do make it happen, and we do keep it real when we get together. We do, you know, when it come to that point, we get an A, but when it comes to something else, it's kind of like, I don't know, I don't think she can. So, but I can't though, so I'm going to reveal it, so. Mm. So, is there anything juicy that the fans need to come keep watching the show for? Or? It's drama. It's always something with me. It's just, uh, it's always somebody doing something wrong to me, though. You're going to catch that. So, it ain't going to be, oh, me, me getting on everybody and me, that's just me mean it. No, people be trying to, I don't know what they think because I got on glasses. I don't know, cause I don't know. They probably just try to try. I don't know. But you will stay tuned more to that. Stay tuned more to that. You think people will be more paying attention to you than other cast members? Yes. I keep it cracking, baby. It's always a fight light of mine. You know, I just do what I... Man, you going to see. you going to see this hustle, loyalty, and respect. you going to see how I'm so loyal to so what I do. You're going to see this hustle, this mentality that I got. And you're going to see the respect I give and what I do for my baby as a single parent. You gonna see that, Chrissy? I liked the Chrissy because she was more. She was her hustle was real tight. Like you get me, uh, Chrissy. She on season two of Empire, the extra. She uh used to be an actress. Uh, her daddy have a phone show on Channel Twenty. I don't really know the name of it. I mean, that's why I really liked it about her. I don't really care too much about her now. You know, from the time I interviewed her to now, she's like, uh, she's real fake and I don't trust her too much. Uh, hi, what's your name? My name is Chrisonia Bradley. Oh, uh, uh, what made Tristan bring you to the show? Um, I'll say my personality. You know that I'm a businesswoman, I'm on my pain. I really love to act. I've been acting since I was 12, doing church plays. And have your acting career been uh, turning up? I mean, going up uh, since then? Um, I was recently on Empire. I met the head director. He got my number, so hopefully he can call me. Uh, are you cool with anybody, or you're not rocking with anybody? Man, me and Mia really need to sit down and have a talk. Even though that we was friends, I don't know what's going on. But other than that, you're cool with everybody else? Yeah, we do need to socialize more. We'll probably go out to eat, grab a pizza on a steak or something. <laughs> okay. Um, if there's one thing people should know about you uh, coming to the show, what would that be? Don't step on my toes. Don't cross that line. Period. Um. Damn, child. I'm loyal to Kita, I'm loyal to Elijah, basically my family. I put in work the same way they do. Do you give respect to people? If, I don't care what age you is, I don't care. As long as you give me respect, I'm going to give you respect. I didn't cuss my own grandma out. Okay. <laughs> uh, what should fans be expecting from um, the show today? Um, Out of you. Turn up, gonna be real. Just stay tuned, y'all. There's a lot of bosses in the building. We're gonna be making big moves together. So, you know. You care about people's opinions about you? No. I can't kiss my own behalf. <laughs> you think fans will love you? 
Or love you more no, than other cats. I ain't really going for it for the fan base. I'm just going off trying to get my hair brand out there. My quality work. That's all. Oh, what is your hair, uh, hair brand? Hair Chrissy brand. Chrissy Beauty Hair. Chrissy Beauty Hair. Okay. Have they been selling? Yes. I'm finna go back to my forty dollars a pop. $35.16 inch. Is there, is there anything else we need to know about you right now? Um, stay tuned for the show. It's a lot coming. You know, you never know what you want to be coming for. Darius, uh, Darius, I, what I like about him is he busy. He have his business. He's trying to build his empire. He's trying to start his own record label. I don't know the name of it yet, but I'm sure this season you guys will see a lot of that. He's a manager and he's a singer. Now his singer style, it's okay, but he's a good manager. He's a good producer. He's a good, he's just a good person. Like we talk on the phone all the time. Well, sometimes we talk for hours. So, uh, Darius, what are what are the things like you're loyal to, uh, and and why are you loyal to that? My loyalty is to my music, my fans, my family, and love the game. That's what it is. I'm loyal to. So, um, why why would you why do you think Tristan brought you to the show? Tristan brought me to the show because he saw. I had potential and I had that it factor, which he wasn't wrong. And he knew it was, I was going to bring the show life. So, yeah. Okay. Um, and, like, how, how do you view respect? Um, how do you earn it? How do you uh, give it? How, how do you view respect? I view respect as, you know, um, Respect is earned, so the ways that I've earned it, um, i put out albums, I've worked with countless artists, I've talked to countless artists, um, I've been in all fields of the industry, modeling, so that's how I earn my respect in the industry, but how I earn my respect with people and fans is show my love and support to them and, you know, give them 100% of me as I possibly can. That's cool. That's cool. Um, how do you feel about the other people on the show? Um, like, how do you uh, feel like you can really work with them well, or is there some people that you may not like vibe with that well? And well, I'm afraid I'm have to say Tristan because I am afraid that he wouldn't be able to keep things a little bit professional. He's gonna always want to be romantic. And Um, 
To the fans, uh, is there anything that you want them to like expect from you this season? Uh, what should they be looking forward to from Darius? They should be looking forward to me as I pursue my modeling and my music, me getting back in the music grind as a solo artist and grinding real hard because you know I'm fighting for that position and it's been a hard journey. I've been, you know, put on the back burner and blacklisted in certain parts of the industry, but I'm trying to back into the limelight again and show that I am that it factor, I am that center that, I, that the world can want to be with. So that's what I want them to see this season. And that's what you will see my journey. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, thank you for interviewing and uh, we see you in the show. Brandon. Brandon. I w I'm not going to lie. I wasn't sure about Brandon. Somebody a little birdie. Ain't going to say no name told me not to bring him on board. I actually wasn't going to bring him on board because I was like, he's a nerd. He ain't going to do anything. He's not going to be boring for the show. But something told me to just go ahead and do it. So I brought him on board. I'm trusting you're going to see a, you're gonna see a lot of good stuff with Brandon because he has a good heart. He's real. That's somebody that I can call my brother at the end of the day. People fall in love in mysterious ways. Maybe just the touch of my hand With me I just keep making the same mistakes Hoping that you will understand So baby now Take me into your loving arms Oh darling And kiss me in the light of a thousand stars and place your head on my beating heart I'm thinking out loud Maybe we found love Right where we are My name is Bradley Davis Where are you from? South Shire, Chicago Tristan, yeah, he cool. That's broke out right there. 
so I got really no run, nothing to really to worry about with him. Mia, she funny but crazy as hell and fun to work with. Like she know how to turn up, she cool as hell. Chrissy, eh, at first I thought like she was kind of shady, but you gotta really like get into her. Like you gotta really spend time with her to like know what she really is about. Darius, that nigga right there. He gone. He creative. Like he's creative. He like a he like a very creative person. He's multi talented. So I really do give it to him. He actually is putting a lot of work. Like so, check out him during the season too. Like I can really look forward to some great things from everybody. So just stay in tune. Hustle Lloyd team Hey, interesting. Do you have a specific talent you need to bring, or what do you bring to spice up the show? I'm real. I'm real. I'm loyal. I'm real to my friends, and I got your back. Like, I don't bite my tongue for anybody or anybody. I don't take nobody's bullshit. So, anybody come for me this season, I'm damn going to come for you. Of course. That's how it's supposed to be. But that's how I do it. So, I'm an entertainer. I'm fun. I know how to whoop it up. Like, y'all going to be like, this motherfucker is crazy. Look at, my, look at me now. Like, I'm so energetic. I'm wow. Like, I'm just over the top. I love it. Y'all gonna love it, I promise you. If, uh, if there's any one thing that you need to tell your fans right now, why do you need to stay tuned with your show, what would it be? Everybody's on the show got a unique, beautiful story though. I won't be saying this for nothing. Stay tuned to Hustle Royalty Respect Season 1. I promise you. We're gonna show out, show, because y'all gonna love it. This is a reality show. We started from the bottom up. I promise you, we're gonna bring some fun, drama filled moments this season. Like, everybody's energetic. I think everyone can relate to every single character on this show. It's six of us. Everyone can relate to our storyline and personal things that's going on in our lives. Please stay tuned and watch something incredible happen.